What's going on, you guys? It's Scott from Fly Rides back again today with another very important video. This one's an announcement. Bosch has just announced that they are going to be updating the software on their new Generation 4 CX motor. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is a big update. We just caught word of it, and we want to give you some of the highlights of this update. You'll be getting more power on an even smarter and more responsive motor. Bosch hasn't officially announced a date for this, but tentatively we have heard end of July that you're going to be able to update your software for that extra power and just an overall better motor. So let's stop talking about it and break into some of the highlights that we've seen so far and what they mean for you. Also, some questions that we want answered. The upgrade that is headlining this show is the fact that you are going to get 85 newton meters of torque when you upgrade your software on the Bosch Performance CX motor generation four. That is an extra 10 newton meters of torque on an already very torquey motor. Now to me, even though it's not technically the highest spec out there, I think that the Bosch was the best hill climber already. So in terms of out the gate power and hill climbing ability, having that extra 10 newton meters of torque on an already very torquey motor is going to be incredible. And honestly, I cannot wait to try it because I can't imagine it getting that much more powerful already. My QBMTB is just, it's destroying right now with the 75 newton meters. It's going to be incredible with the 85 newton meters of torque on there. Speaking of out the gate power, let's talk about the next update. The next thing this update will give you is a quicker start from a stop, according to Bosch. Now, again, this already had great out the gate power. If you're not familiar with my verbage, I say that out the gate power is essentially what you're getting right off the bat. I already think Bosch was the best at that. So I am super stoked to see how it could get better. Uh, they said there's almost no lag. Uh, the people who have test ridden it are saying like there is just like nothing. It is like maximum torque right away. One of the really cool things about this is the fact that it's going to be at lower cadences as well, which means it should be just, you know, like the second you start, no matter how like, you know, how much effort you're putting into it, the second you start putting effort in there, it's just going to be like max power. The reason it's nice to have this lower cadence support is because if you're starting from a stop, of course, you are going to be at a lower cadence that cadence being zero. Basically, my understanding is, is that it's going to be way more helpful even if you're starting in too high of a gear uh, in comparison to the old software. And that brings us to our final update announced by Bosch, extended boost mode. What is it? Well, it is more complicated than it sounds, but it sounds pretty cool. Now, initially, my understanding of extended boost mode was that it was just going to be a more responsive motor, generally speaking, uh, but that's actually not the case. Extended boost mode is going to be a rider activated feature. Uh, it's basically for really technical terrain. Essentially what Klaus, the Bosch CEO said, is that it's going to be, if you're in like really technical terrain that you're not actually able to fully pedal, you can kind of kickstart the motor by doing like half a pedal stroke and it's gonna give you some extra speed to get over those obstacles without you having to, you know, pedal strike or anything like that. It sounds really cool and it probably is gonna use, like, you know, I take some practice for you to really nail down, but once you get it down, it seems like it's gonna be an extremely useful feature. As with the two previous updates, this is also going to help with those riders who maybe started a technical climb in too high of a gear. So if you're already in kind of high of a gear and it's like, yeah, I can't really get my legs around here, you can kind of do this kickstart thing to give yourself some extra power until you're able to shift without crunching those gears. This feature also pairs well with the fact that you have that lower cadence support. So apparently you are gonna get full support anywhere from 20 to 50. Cadence is as low as 20 to 50. Now, of course, you're still getting support from 50 to 100 as well, but 50 to 100 was already featured on the Gen 4 motor in terms of your max uh, support that you can get out of it. But now you're supposed to be getting max support from cadences of 20 to 50 rotations per minute as well, which is great for guys like me who do not like to shift gears, A, because it can be harder on your drivetrain, and B, because I'm kinda lazy and I like to have like, you know, lower cadences. It's easier on the legs. You're not like spinning so much. 
and doing any cardio, which, you know, who would want to do cardio, right? In all seriousness, it is really good for those who don't want to rely on their gears quite as much. There is theory and like thought behind this that it could extend the, uh, the life of that drivetrain. Whether or not this will be the case in practice kind of remains to be seen. I think it's still a good idea to kind of learn how to use those gears. But the extended boost mode is definitely going to be something very cool. And it's just like a brand new feature to e-biking that we really haven't seen before. So my final thoughts on this, this is definitely an EMTB focused update. Uh, the Performance CX motor, again, already kind of designed for mountain bikes from the get-go, but it does have a history of being used on commuting bikes as well. So whether or not you need to get this upgrade is uh, kind of up to you. Honestly, I think if you are using the Bosch Generation 4 CX motor on a commuting bike, the newton meters of torque that you're getting, the extra 10 is probably worth it alone. You probably aren't going to be using the things like the extended boost mode, but I would say it's definitely worth it. I think this represents a completely new era of EMTB usage, especially that extended boost mode. That is a super innovative and just like, it's not an idea that I would have thought of personally. I don't know if you guys were already thinking about it, but I haven't seen innovation like this since uh, people started doing walk assist, which is another big step. But I really like the idea that uh, on the super technical stuff, there is a way out of those situations. Because um, that's part of the fun of e-biking in the first place, e-mountain biking, is that you are able to get up climbs that you otherwise wouldn't be able to because you got the motor on there. But it also means that you're dealing with harder terrain than you normally would be. So having any sort of extra help just to add to that fun is awesome. I really like that idea. If you are excited about this update, make sure to subscribe to this channel because we will be updating you as we hear more information, especially if you live in the Southern California area. We are planning on doing some sort of launch party uh, with the, uh, the new Bosch software where you can come get your Bosch software updated. Um, leave a comment below if you guys have any questions. I'll see if I can get them answered for you. But that is all the information I have for now. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time.